Everyone's been talking about Magnus Mitbo's 9C challenge. If you haven't heard of the challenge, it's basically a series of four strength tests to see what sport climbing grade you should be climbing based on your strength. As an American climber that climbs around 510 on the Yosemite decimal system, I feel like I'm constantly Googling the conversion chart between sport grades and the Yosemite decimal system grades. So when I went to look at what 9C was equivalent to and saw that it was a 515D, my first thought was, man, that's bananas. The 9C challenge is based on what percentage of your body weight you can do various exercises with in 10% weight increments. And yeah, I could just do it with weights like everyone else. But for a challenge that tests how close you are to climbing 9C, aka a 515D, aka like the hardest thing ever, something that is absolutely bananas, I decided regular old weights wouldn't do. I decided that the only thing that could truly show just how bananas this challenge is was, well, bananas. And so I got lots, lots of bananas. 10% of my body weight is equivalent to roughly 16.5 pounds. There are about four bananas in every pound, so that means that in order to get one-tenth of my body weight, I would need 66 bananas. Once I had what I felt was a sufficient amount, it was time to say goodbye to the grocery store and yellow to the gym. First up was the finger strength challenge. The goal was to hang from a 20 millimeter crimp for five seconds with the designated amount of weight attached to you. I started with my body weight, which felt fairly easy, but I'm nursing a bit of a wrist injury. So I added a couple of pounds of bananas to test it and it didn't feel like I should push the hangs anymore. So my friends Nate and John took their turns Nate managing to get 160% of his body weight, and John getting 130%. The second test was a one rep max weighted pull up. I started with just my body weight. Then it was time to try 110%. John helped me rack up the 16 and a half pounds of bananas and it was time for the attempt. Having managed to do 110%, I went for 120. Ultimately, it was too much for me. John pulled through with 150% and Nate managed to get 160%. Up next was core. The highest form of this challenge was a front lever, which looks something like this. But because I'm nowhere near close to that, I started with a 30 second bent knee hang from a bar. After successfully completing that, I attempted a 10 second L sit. On my first attempt, I got six seconds, but I decided to try again. It's debatable whether or not I got a full 10 seconds of an L sit, but both John and Nate agreed that I did. So, hey, I'll take it. They each nailed their 20 seconds of L sits. Last was the hang. The goal here was just to hang from the bar for as long as possible, up to a maximum time of six minutes for the full 10 points. My goal for this challenge was to hang for at least one minute, 
So while we wait and see if I manage to accomplish that, there is something you can do that would be the absolute best use of your time right now. And that one thing would be to hit the like button on this video if you're enjoying yourself. I will also be giving out free bananas to anyone that subscribes to my channel. Okay, not really. Bananas actually don't ship super well, but if you want to subscribe anyways, that would be awesome. Okay, let's see where we're at on this hang. So at this point, I knew I was getting close to two minutes, but my wrist was also not feeling that good again. So instead of pushing myself and getting injured, I stopped at 145, which was honestly way better than I thought that I would do. John tried his very best to hang, and in the end managed to snag a not too shabby time of 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Nate said something during the hangs about this part of the 9C challenge not only being a physical test, but a mental one. A lot of climbing is having the right mentality to be able to get through the hard parts, and I definitely think that training something like a hang for time would be a good way to get some mental training in as well. Overall, Nate's mentality pushed him to a time of 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So overall, the results showed that I got 1 point for finger strength, 2 points for pull-ups, 4 points for core, and 3 points for the hang, for an overall score of 10 points, putting me at the 7A or 5.11C range. John ended up with 20 points, equivalent to 7C+, and Nate ended up with 26 points, equivalent to 8B. Did you enjoy this 9C challenge? Let me know in the comments. Before I go, I'm gonna tell you guys a story that made my week. So I was bebopping around watching climbing YouTube as one does, and I came across a video that had this graphic. And you know, my mom was a teacher, so for the most part, I kind of inherited her whole spelling and grammar please type of a vibe. And at first I was like, yo, you spelled subscribe wrong. But then the more I kept looking at it, the more I decided, I was like, man, subscribble, that's a dope word. And so I've decided that from now on, I'm no longer going to be asking for subscribers. Instead, I'm going to be asking for subscribblers because why the heck not, you know? So with that, subscribble if you want to. And until the next video, stay hyped.